What is going on guys? Today we are going to be looking at Palacios. The objective from this week, 86 centimid, no playstar plus Light Wilson, which I kind of thought was going to happen, which is a little bit of an annoyance one with him because I feel like an incisive pass would have been beautiful for him. I think even if you added a playstar plus, it's not as if he's going to be the next best card. He's a standard card, 86 rated, 3 star, 4 star, which is not terrible at all. Medium high on the work rates, controlled explosive with a right foot. Can play all around the midfield in centre mid, CDM and cam. In terms of play styles, he's got long ball pass, tiki tacker. He's got intercept, anticipate and also on the slide tackle. The ones before him... If I can find him on footbin, he had in his 80 rated card, he has had one in form as well. He had long ball pass, intercept, anticipate and slide tackle. So he's had Tiki Taka added onto this one. In terms of stats, 73 on the pace definitely needs the upgrade. So I can imagine like anybody, he's going to have to go with that shadow more than anything as we need some more pace. 68 sprint speed is not going to do. Good passing on him, 91 and 90, which is perfect. Great dribbling as well for a centre mid. Some all right physical stamina and aggression looking really nice as well. And shooting is a standard. He's going to be more of a defensive mid that pushes the ball forward rather than necessarily anything else. If we was to add the shadow to him, it does make him mostly explosive instead of controlled explosive. He gets 92 on the defending and a lovely 81 pace as well. Takes him from an 86 CDM to a 90, an 88 centimid or an 85 cam. I'd say that's not terrible for your Bundesliga squad. Let's jump into him, see if he's worth it and let me know down below if you're going to grind him. Let's get into it. FC24 is here and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give, as well as coaching and also the big one everybody wants in FC24 coins. The service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these, make sure you head over to SkyCoach. Dot gg go onto the website and when you go to checkout make sure that you are using the code jt11 at checkout for your five percent off your orders and if you'd prefer to do this on mobile check out the screen right now with the qr code for their mobile app palacios coming through the midfield seems relatively nice on the dribble which is always nice as well doesn't necessarily mean he's absolutely incredible for it but he most definitely has a little bit of spark in him that works i think with the added play style as well the the kind of tiki taka always nice when it comes to the first what is it the first time ground pass Hyde has it with very very good accuracy as according to what the description of obviously the play style plus is or the play style in fact so it's always a nice one to have in that midfield somebody like we like with incisive pass it's adding that almost composure to him which is absolutely perfect with getting the ball from a to b in terms of kind of just in general passing, he's got the long ball pass, which he naturally already had anyway, which again is always going to be good for a centre mid. If you don't necessarily have, how on earth did the keeper not save that? If you don't have necessarily a solid centre mid anyway. Good interception from him. In terms of dribbling, like I said, it's it it's okay. Like It's a bit responsive as you can see, but... It's most definitely not the most high quality dribbling we've seen. I think it's going to be more passing, defending orientated with him, getting the ball out, maybe into kind of more of your centre mid cam. That's going to be kind of the real move for him. That's a solid ball into Figo. Whips it into Haaland with a volley as well. Pushing up the midfield again, looking for a little bit of dribble, kind of pull himself away from here. Always looking at that top left screen, gets the header down, Lom with the shot. A good interception again. Sees it out nicely. I want him covering in the midfield as we see him. Give him that kind of second man press. Double option. And into the tackle again. And again looking for that switch if he can. That is a stunning ball. Cut it onto his left. Find the finesse but it's not enough. I think in terms of an objective. It's most definitely a fine one at best. I feel like Wilson was always going to be nice. Even, even more so purely on the fact that he is a Prem striker as well. Whether that comes into play with a Bundesliga player. It's not necessarily as much wanted. But I must admit in terms of Bundesliga players. He's going to be one of the better ones. As we don't really have a massive, massive selection this year. Seeing him out with it. Looking for the Henri ball. Lovely. Gets him onto it. But we've gone with a bad touch there. Plasios coming across. He's going to look for that pass. 
Eventually running out of second man press with Ronaldinho and he knows it. Still manages to give it to him though, which is impressive. So we try and find a bit of battle in him all the way through. Looks for the ball and this is where a Playstar Plus would have been absolutely stunning from him. And I don't know if it's because we've got four minute squad battle matches or potentially it's because it's a new part of the game. Good shot. I find that the fact that grinding these are a lot more easier. I, again, I don't know if it is purely on the four minute squad battle matches which makes it seem easier. Or it's just the fact that it is more of a brand new game. So I'm willing to do more. We kind of have to judge that at team of the season to see... Have I got the same enthusiasm for them? Because I guarantee every single week doing seven matches for an objective will eventually grind on you. So it, I kind of take it as it kind of comes at the moment. If you get them done straight away, then obviously we've kind of left with the rest of the week to grind out whatever else we need. And I think, oh, nearly. With obviously the uh, kind of what the foundations only being two players per team as well that just adds a nice little bonus to add more and more to it rather than necessarily having to do just one objective at a time we can do two or three if we stack them for the week if for instance we get the theme pursuit we can stack them for friday get them all done at once which just adds that extra bonus when it comes to doing an objective which i find better anyway and again pushing forward looking for the harlem ball if we can it's lovely and in the middle very precise. Haaland's going to try and figure something out. Can we get... Oh, why didn't Palacios run there? He's got a bit of shot power, even though I know he's not necessarily going to be your attacking option when it comes to a centre mid. I would have more of a, a kind of a centre mid that's attacking with him. He is kind of very heavy on that defence, like we said, with the, what, 90 plus defending. That's very nice on an 86 already. Adding a bit more pace to him, even if the sprint speed doesn't go absolutely crazy it's always a nice one to go with when it comes to a sentiment and if we look at the Bundesliga players in general I can't even think who could really be on that same sort of level this obviously Goretzka and Kimmich but I feel like he definitely puts in a shift that's a great ball that's where he needs to be if we can see him again you can see the defensive object of him being really far back rather than necessarily push into that outer box so going into the overall form then, so 86 rated, like I said, he does have an in form as well, which is 14,000, nothing too crazy there, he's had a 5 increase on the pace, 2 on the shooting, 4, 3, 3, 3, and in comparison to his base, a very nice upgrade, a plus 6 on the overall, adding the Tiki Taka as the play style. Again, it's a shame we didn't get the play style plus for him, but I do think in terms of adding that shadow, mostly explosive. What 86 acceleration, 76 sprint speed, but the 92 defending is immaculate. Like if we see down here, we've got a 90 rated or 90.4 on the DM, 87.7 on the CM. Cam wise, if we was going for the Hunter, it might change a little bit. If we look at Hunter, we get the same pace, but then we get 85 shooting, which would turn him into an 87 centimid or 86 cam. Personally, for me, I would always go with that shadow, especially with that defensive unit there. That is absolutely brilliant. He adds that so much more element to him that... In defense, he should be like a brick wall. He should be your fifth man in defense. You can then have anybody else playing off him. For instance, a Goretzka would be perfect in that role. Has a bit of defense as well as the attack going forward. You could even chuck in a Musiala there. You know he's got that defense down. You've even got a Brandt, in fact, that you could put in center mid. Again, it all depends on how your midfield works. If you've got a free midfield, then it's a perfect one. He can be the DM. You can have two CMs next to him. If it's just a CDM and a cam, again, it works brilliantly we also did get Gertz previously whether I'd say he's worth it I'd per personally rather go Musiala really really like him in this game it's a shame Coleman can't be a cam actually we then have Goretzka again bit more on the attacking but again he is very much on that defensive unit you probably want to go with a hunter or a shadow with him as well but in terms of a free card I can't grumble I think it's a nice one it's kind of in that zone of it's decent but it's not quite in your team. He's an objective player most definitely. Like Wilson, if you don't have a Prem team or don't have a Bundesliga team, they are perfect to sit in that middle. He can work in the Evo lounge. He can do any objectives that naturally come up for the specific leagues. And you can grind out as many of the special cards as we keep getting. Then you're going to have an easy team that you don't actually have to buy anybody for. May not be the best, but he most definitely is not the worst. I'd say roughly, I'd say like an 8 I think 8 being free, nice and easy to complete, and an 86 centimetre at the moment in the Bundesliga, it's not bad at all. So let me know down below, are you grinding him? Make sure you do like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.